Thanks. You guys want to say hello, world, in the video? Oh. Hello, this, world. This is the owner. This is the owner. This is Hayden Hilton. Um, tell me about your cat cafe. How did you get started? Oh, that's a long. That's a loaded question. But summary: Georgia State student, studied film, didn't like it, dropped out. Open a cat cafe. Yeah. <laughs> I think you made a better choice. Cats are wonderful. Too bad they couldn't have a cat cafe inside uh, Georgia State. I think that would benefit mm -hmm. a lot of students, and we should work towards that. Yeah, we should. Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics on uh, things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. So please check me out. some people. It's like you try having a conversation with them and it's normal. You try to use small talk. You try to use all the rules, eye contact. and People still uh, are phony and they're just uh, insecure. And what's the point in even trying to talk to people? I mean, I'm not going to go cry or crawl into a cubby hole and die. tonight and before I get going over there I wanted to uh, hang out here even though my fingers are a little bit numb and uh, it's going to be warm the rest of the week and then it's gonna get cold again anyway so I wanted to talk about something while it's daylight and I haven't done this in a long time and this is all about what it's like to live as an autistic or uh, rather have Asperger's syndrome uh, or rather uh, live with autism anyway uh, what I wanted to do is uh, talk about what it's like to be uh, excluded and uh, all my life I've been left out and I've been shunned and I've been excluded from things and that's because people have gotten the wrong ideas about me because of uh, basic stereotypes and today so many people are so uh, so driven by media and media sources like the newspapers and like uh, the news channel, uh, social media, you name it. And there is such little information in those news stories about autistics and stories that you hear are often about uh, my, my autistic son derailed and beat me up. And the truth is you didn't really hear the real story there were no uh, reinforcers involved. It was just, oh, look what he did. And so because those are in the media, uh, there are people that are running away and shying away because they're not getting the right information. So all my life, I've been left out and excluded. I've had people come up to me and pat me on the head. Hi, Maya, how you doing? Other times they invite me to sit with them for lunch or uh, they meet me for coffee for a little bit. Um, They've also snubbed my invitations. Like I told you about a video where all of my coworkers at uh, this one warehouse where I used to work and I talked about that job uh, years ago and how I was kept down there. Uh, I was snubbed by everybody, including the boss. And she had a severely autistic son. Uh, sorry, Asan, but... <laughs> That's, I don't know what else to call it. If you have any other ideas, uh, give me a description below. Uh, I'd like to hear your ideas on that. Um, anyway, uh, the reason why people exclude us again is because of stereotypes. And people have excluded me because they think I'm going to be 
too difficult. They think I'm going to be too sensitive. And they think I'm going to make a scene in public. And they think I'm going to be uh, really violent and dangerous. And uh, the other people can't risk getting bruised on the arm. And the truth is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that no, I don't punch people in the face. No, uh, I don't hit them. Uh, I mean, the only time uh, I would scream at somebody, it's usually if there's a lot of noise in the room, like a lot of people talking, or if uh, I, I, somebody kept making fun of me, let's say they called me the R word. I mean, I don't usually yell at them anymore. I'm learning how to control my temper, but I've just learned not to use uh, profanity and yell at people, shout at them. I've just uh, learned how to use my words, but uh, I just get left out so many times, and uh, this is just so mean, too, uh, because uh, I've had many situations where I've had to see people connect, and again, they uh, say hello to me, and they invite me to have lunch with them, whatever, and then um, I hear them, they make their plans in front of me, or they just, they stab me by uh, using their words, and they talk about how they had fun doing this or that together, or I see it on social media, and it just makes me so mad. But anyway, when I was 18, 19, I worked at a amusement park, and uh, I, I learned to depend on my coworkers, and they depend on me, even though they didn't understand and didn't really want to understand. And particularly the last season I worked there, and I worked there for three, um, I thought that these people were my friends. However, they were getting together and they were excluding me, even though we did things together at work and uh, we had fun together at work and I had fun with them. Um, and then when I introduced them to my mom six months after uh, the amusement park closed for the season, my mom said, Maya, they're not interested in you. And then when uh, I found out I wasn't going to be uh, going back to this amusement park to work, because uh, I had some problems with stress and I got too overwhelmed. They decided not to hire me back. Again, I was 19. And at first they promised me the job and then they turned around and changed their mind and said no. I mean, there's another side story to it. At any rate, I had tried to contact these people and tell them how upset I was and I was hurt. And they kept brushing me off and telling me that it was better for me because uh, I wasn't happy there. And then they said, sorry, got to go. And so I'm very outspoken. I mean, I didn't swear at them, but I blew up at all of them at, at an email. And I, like I, I wrote all their names. I told them that they were fake and that, uh, that one day, uh, when the next summer season comes along, they're gonna miss me and then they'll feel bad. And a few of them wrote back and uh, one of them said, uh, so sorry in a sarcastic manner. And it came out why she didn't invite me and she said that she wanted to include me, but she said she had to ask the others and because they said no, she didn't allow me to come along because uh, she said that they thought I was too uh, difficult and thought I'd be too hard to handle. So that's what people think. They get this idea that um, I'm unpredictable and that I'm going to throw a fit and that I'm going to be this monster and I'm going to be too difficult and they're going to get hurt. When the truth is they don't know me and they don't know why in the world I get mad. It's usually, again, uh, if there's too much noise in the room, um, I get overwhelmed. Or if somebody says something mean to me and pushes my buttons, I mean, I don't hit people anymore. I don't lose my temper. Uh, but. If you get to know me, you find out that I'm just a regular civil human being. And, you know, it's amazing how many people are just so insecure and so ignorant and so small-minded. It's not even funny. So... You've got to check this out. There is an adoption tonight.
I was just heading out, but I am going to introduce you to uh, some of the new fur babies that are up for adoption. <laughs> this is Columbus. She's not real friendly, but she's just as beautiful as can be. Um, I prefer to call her Lois because my aunt's hair was about that color. Bye, Lois. Bye, Lois. Yeah, you're looking at me. You're giving me a lick of love. You love me, don't you? See? Yeah. Okay, Columbus is up. Okay, Hayden's heading in. This is Nola. Bye, Nola. And this one. Oh, forget the name of that kitty. Bye, Tiffany. Tiffany. Boy, Tiffany. She's super sweet. Uh, this one's not friendly either. She's feisty. This is Alicia. Bye, Alicia. Baddie's back here. Someone else is getting adopted, YouTube. Whew. There goes Baddie. No, no, it was okay. the easiest red. Red was the easiest cat I've ever seen. That was pretty flawless. Red? Well, it makes sense. Yeah, uh, red, um, yeah, red, exactly. Red sniffed her crate, went to the bathroom, peed, and climbed back into her carrier like a stuffed pet doll. Really? So, what? Uh, so, red. Can I show you? Let me uh, show you this kitty. Hey, kitty! Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm sorry, kid. I'm sorry. Poor Batty. Earlier said that. Batty. Hello, Batty. Come here. Sniff. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. So I'm about to head off now, and I'm going to sign off. But first, I wanted to let you know that um, Hayden is just an amazing person, and. She's been up and running for almost two years, but it really took her a lot of work to get to where she is today. And I remember just becoming very anxious. When are they gonna open this cat's cafe? When are they gonna open this cat's cafe? And I followed her on Facebook and watched the progress on there. I listened to her videos. I just could not wait to meet her. And then she opened up and uh, before she opened, she did a Facebook Live with all the kitties, and one of them was this little orange and white kitty. His name was Delroy, and he was uh, really, really cute and really, really soft, but also very skittish. But he was a little character where she was first introducing us to their first uh, batch of cats. Uh, Mr. Delroy uh, took a poop in one of the kitty pets. <laughs> Uh, on was uh, right on camera and it was live and it was uh, so funny but he caught my eye I had to meet this cat and I was really anxious to adopt him however it wasn't meant to be uh, right around the time that he got adopted uh, Applejack Mac which at the time was Olivia she came in not too long after that and then I just fell in love with her and uh, Long story short, I adopted her on my birthday, and uh, she and I have had a great relationship. She's a lovely kitty, but uh, yeah, this is Java Cats, and I have a couple of vlogs of myself uh, coming here. What you need to do is click up here in the upper right-hand corner. There are a couple of videos that I'd like you to check out. In the meantime, be sure to uh, check out my social media content. Also be sure to check out uh, my written blogs on wordpress.com. Uh, the, the links are in the description below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.